as hard as it may seem, amen, I want y'all to believe, all right? It may not feel like your time is yet. I don't know how, how to tell y'all. I've been in those places, amen, where you feel like the it, other people get the promotion. Other people get, it's like God called their name up, but he's forgetting about you. He hasn't forgotten about you. Faith is what pleases God. Faith is what pleases him. Amen. Our faith pleases God. And as we release our faith, we will see the manifestation of what we believe for. And you have to begin to pray, Father, remove the barriers that are hindering my faith. And y'all may say, well, why? And, and, and you, 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 you have to spend time in the word of God. Building up your most holy faith. Amen. You got to spend time in it. Because what it's going to do, it's going to begin to transform the way you think. It's going to begin to transform what you believe. You're going to sit in that word. And I, it's sometimes I can read the word and I'll begin to, like tears will begin to flow from my eyes. Because that word is life. It brings health. It brings healing. It's bringing encouragement. And so... I know what my assignment is, and my assignment is to get you believing, amen, to help you know that faith works, to help you believe that healing works, to let you know that God loves you, amen, that he is responsive, hallelujah, hallelujah, that you can get back up again when you mess up, that there's enough grace that's sufficient, and that the mercies are there. But you got to believe it. There's no way around it. And I know people don't tell y'all that. There's no way around it. We have to believe. Hallelujah. And then sometimes when we're weak in faith, guess what happens? God will send someone that's strong in faith to gird you up and to pray with you and release faith on your behalf. So that's why I encourage you, hang around people that's on fire for God. 